Hi, welcome to another tutorial in my series on implicit differentiation. Now in this tutorial what we're going to look at is find the coordinates of stationary points and we're going to do it for the curve x squared minus 4xy equals y squared minus 20. Now the reason why I've picked this question is because it's quite involved towards the end. Now another way that you can get these questions phrased by the way is that they'll say find the coordinates of the point where the tangent is parallel to the x-axis so when a tangent is parallel to the x-axis you're looking at stationary points in other words where the gradient of the curve is equal to zero so how do we get the gradient well we need to find dy by dx so we need to differentiate this with respect to x. So write that in there, differentiate with respect to x. And in the usual way, you should be familiar by now with differentiating implicitly. If not, just look back at my earlier tutorials on this. OK, so if we do differentiate this implicitly, what we get is 2x minus, and then we've got the product rule here, so in the usual way it'll be 4x times the differential of y with respect to x, that's going to be dy by dx. In fact it's going to be 1 dy dx by dx, but we'll just leave it like that. Then we've got plus, and then we would have y times the differential of 4x with respect to x, so that's just going to be simply 4. Close the bracket there, and then we differentiate y squared with respect to x and get 2y dy dx. And differentiating the minus 20 with respect to x is 0. If you expand the bracket, you'll find you get 2x minus 4x dy dx, and then minus 4y equals 2y dy dx. Now, you could divide through by 2, it goes into each term, so if we divide by 2, it simplifies it. Now, I'll leave it up to you just to check the rearrangement of this, but if you rearrange this now, dy by dx will equal x minus 2y all over y plus 2x. Now, it's at this point that we need to find the stationary point. So a stationary point, let's just write this in here, helps the reader see what we're doing. A stationary point, dy by dx equals zero. So what we need to say then is that therefore x minus 2y over y plus 2x has to equal zero. And when we have a fraction that equals 0, if we were to multiply both sides by y plus 2x, we would end up with x minus 2y equaling 0. Now when we've got this, we can rearrange this and say that therefore x equals 2y. So what I'm going to do now is substitute x equals 2y back into this equation up here. So if we number this top equation number 1 and we number this one 2 and we just come down here what we're going to do is sub 2 into number 1 and if we do that okay what we've got is Instead of the x squared, we've got 2y all squared. Then we have minus 4 times x, so that's 4 times 2y, times another y, equals y squared minus 20. And so, therefore, if we clean this up, we've got 4y squared minus 8y squared equals y squared minus 20. If we 
bring all the y squareds to the right hand side and add 20 to the, both sides what we've got is 20 equals 5 y squared and therefore divide through by 5 and we have y squared equals 4 and that means that if we square root this y equals plus or minus 2. So all we need to do now to get these stationary points is substitute plus or minus 2 into equation 2 to get the corresponding x value. So we can say sub y equals plus or minus 2 into equation 1 and when we do that we see that when y is 2 x turns out to be 2 times 2 which is 4 and when y equals minus 2 x equals minus 4 so just wind up the problem now so therefore we've got stationary points At, and we have two pairs of them. We've got at 4, 2 and at minus 4, minus 2. Okay, well this brings us now to the end of this tutorial but in my next tutorial what I'm going to show you is how we can determine the nature of these stationary points.